Previously on Your Face is a Saxophone. Look, boss, Andrew is, uh, enthusiastic, but things just really haven't been the same since we lost Tommy. Hi, Eddie. Yes. So you're the new Tommy? Oh, dude, you gotta check this out. Look, 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 check it out, check it out, bro. It means awesome and Asian. I'm the big man around here. I make the decisions, and I get the big, fat bonus at the end of the fiscal year. Andrew is a prick. Your cut is zero dollars and zero cents, Mr. Boulder. Go die in a fire. This is not the kind of reputation we should be spreading. Do you have a better idea, Dick Smack? I do. We should be nice to people. How about we A, B this? We'll go with your strategy, then with Andrew's strategy, and see what the data says. You're going down, bitch. You have a three-inch penis. Boogity! <laughs> Pap smear. Send me that CPM report from yesterday. Normally, I just ignore you, but what did you call me? Yeah, 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 that's why I said it. Anyway, CPM report. Email it. Chop, chop. It's on the server. Get it yourself. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, hey, you want to get dinner tonight? Isn't there a sexual harassment policy in this office? Jeez, I'm just asking if you want to get dinner. You have asked me that every single day since I broke up with you. And every single time, I have responded with some permutation of go fuck yourself. Why don't you use your chart-making skills and analyze that trend? So, you want to get dinner? I want to stab you in the testicles. Helvetica's totally better than Myriad. Are you kidding? It's boring. Everyone uses it now. Yeah, why do you think everyone uses it? Because it's awesome. It's cliche. And besides, it's all bland and squarey. I don't know. It's just too grotesque for me. It's not gross. How is it gross? It's not gross at all. Wait, get back to work. I don't have any work. You haven't given us a project yet. You don't look busy. Employees are supposed to look busy. But, but, but... No I... buts. I'm a boss. I'm acting like a boss. Go act like you're busy. Aww. Eddie, are you working? Are you hard at work? Well, we don't have a project yet, so actually I'm just- You look like you're working. Keep up the good work. Hey, there we go. Liara, are you working? Hello there. Ow! Sorry. Okay, team. I'm glad we all had such a productive morning. We didn't do anything, boss. There wasn't anything to do. And it got done in record time. Give yourselves a hand. Now, you may remember on Friday, we decided to have a little bit of a showdown. So, conveniently enough, we have two new clients who need us to amplify their brand experience with engaging and relevant content. It's a perfect opportunity for us to see which strategy is the most breakthrough at leveraging influencers and igniting organic conversations. What the fuck does that mean? I think he's talking about me versus Andrew, somehow. First order of business, teams. In this corner, Edward Tungsten Cohen. And his team members, Kevin, Liara, and Blake. All right, I'm on Team Edward. And in this corner, Andrew Scholes. And his team members, Janet, Michael, Robert, Pooney, Philip, Jason, Ivan, Marty, Kirk. Wait, why does he get more people than me? You don't want them. They're his Marketroid posse people things. Now, Andrew, your clients will be here in just a moment. Leia? Yes. Oh, oh God. Um, uh, please, uh, let the Schwab folks in. Thanks. <sighs> anyway, Eddie, your clients are waiting in the downstairs conference room. We have a downstairs conference room? We have a downstairs? So get those meetings going, team, and let's get ready for some marketing! So, you gentlemen are from Miller Coors? Yes. We'd, We'd like to expand the market of our Miller Lite premium reduced calorie pills and beverage to target consumers in the female demographic, but without compromising the brand's tried and true message of hypermasculinity and misogynistic behavior. I see. Wow, Zach! Beer ads are misogynistic? That's so insightful! Nobody has ever made that observation before. Well, it's 
still happening, so obviously we need to keep pointing it out. Or you're an unoriginal, talentless hack. Yeah, that too. Don't you want to tell them what they really want? Yeah. Don't you want to tell them all where they should shop? Your wallet stuffed up and congested with money. Generic drugs may take weeks to relieve pressure on your wallet, but Sudafed has fast acting high prices to unclog all that cash instantly. You can't get that kind of fast acting power when you buy generic. Sudafed, because pseudoephedrine is such a big word. <laughs> Look, asshole, you don't have any right to call me a pretentious yuppie douchebag. You're supposed to be a genius, so shut the fuck up and fix my goddamn iPad. Not a douchebag. Okay, bitches, everyone drop everything and come pay attention to me. Uh, I was kind of busy working Shut on up, diversity quota, nobody asked you. Now, can someone remind me who the hell it was we were supposed to be meeting with? I honestly couldn't be bothered enough to pay attention. It was Charles Schwab, the investment firm. I know that, you commie bastard. It was a rhetorical question. No, it wasn't. Why are you still talking? Go get alcohol poisoning from vodka or whatever you people do. Okay, Charles Schwab. Uh, what do they do? They let you buy stocks and shit, right? Anyone. Hello? Are we allowed to answer? Are you allowed to... What, what the fuck kind of question is that? Yes, you're allowed to answer. Why would I ask something if I didn't want an answer? Because you ask rhetorical questions. That was another rhetorical question, dumbass. Jesus fucking Christ, this guy. Oh my god! Alright, now is anybody gonna answer my question? Yes, they let you buy stocks. They're a stock bro. I know they let you buy stocks! I just said that, you people are fucking killing me today! I was asking, who's the demographic we're trying to reach? No, you weren't. Excuse me, how do you know what I was asking? Clearly I don't. Are you inside my head? No. Do you have any understanding of my own personal thought processes that go on inside my brain? Absolutely not. No, you don't. So, you don't get to tell me what I was asking, because I, of all people, would know exactly what that was, and you would not. Hey, uh, can I get by? Go around! I can't go around, my cubicle's right behind you guys. So, climb! What? Now, where was I before we were so rudely interrupted? Uh, Did I look like I was done talking? Demographics. We need to reach upper <laughs> middle class professionals, 35 to 59. That's our market for Charles Schwab. <laughs> the guys from Schwab said they wanted 18 to 34. They want to reach more young people. Did I ask for your opinion? That's the client's opinion. We're supposed to be doing what the client wants. <laughs> okay, Janet, you know what? You know what? You're not supposed to talk. Your job is to stand there and be a pair of tits for me to look at. Okay? Uh... Uh... I just asked you a question! It came out a little bit blue, didn't it? It's fine, this is just a mock-up. Oh, yeah, 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 right. So, did you get that thing with your apartment worked out? Oh yeah, it's all fine now. I spent an hour on the phone with Con Ed, and they'd gotten a cancellation request or something? I don't know. It was so weird. But anyway, power's back on. Landlord doesn't think I'm broke. I have to replace a lot of what was in the refrigerator. Ugh, that sucks. I'm sorry. So, what? Someone else just called them up and told them to cut your power off? I guess so. Who would do that? Well, Andrew, maybe? He likes to mess with my head. He'd be able to convince Con Ed that he lived at your apartment? Ow! Uh, let's Are you okay? just not get into that. 
Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, you guys remember Pepsi Nano? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it got recalled. Really? Yeah, it says here, everybody who drank it got real sick. There's even this one lady who needed a liver transplant. Hey, Kevin, I totally think I might have a little bit sort of broken your computer. Hey, that looks great. Wait, what? Thank you. Yeah, definitely digging the blood splatter on her skirt right there. That's badass. What blood splatter? It looks so real, too. Hey, what'd you say about my computer? Oh, shit, I'm really bleeding. Whoa, you're using real blood in that? Damn, Leora, you're hardcore. Uh, do you need, like, a band-aid or something? I think I need more than a... Uh, tissues? Get me some tissues. Where are they? Yo, what was that about breaking my computer? Th they're up on the shelf with the thing. What thing? It, the thing on the, sh the shelf with the stuff, you know, the thing. Okay, I'm getting a little dizzy here. Well, howdy ho, team. Looks like there's a change of plans. Kevin, you're on Team Andrew now. We're swapping you with Janet. Whoa, whoa, what? No! Why do I have to go there? I like it here! Why can't we just have five people? He's already got a bajillion! Okay, what is she doing here? She's an accountant. I'm bleeding. What's happening? Okay, Eddie, you know the, the thing with the buttons? The scanner? Yeah, it's on that shelf. Where? Right next to it. Next to it? Uh, oh, it's empty. What the hell do you mean it's empty? Okay, I'm feeling really sleepy right now. I'm sure you all managed just fine with Janet here. Oh, wow. That's really nice, Leora. Has the client seen it yet? The Pizza Tax Bone is free non-commercial series supported entirely by fans like you. Help us keep the show free of charge and free of ads. You can become a producer for as little as one dollar. Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. So go to your pies.com slash donate, blah, 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 blah. Give us money! Hey, are you okay from earlier? I'm fine. Okay, I was just worried You know what? I don't need your sympathy. I'm not trying to impress you, and I don't care what you think. And I don't appreciate you coming in here and disrupting the group dynamic that I have worked so hard to maintain. Which is not an easy thing to do when we have to breathe the same air as people like you all day. Punch that into your little spreadsheet, why don't ya? Jeez, I was just trying to be nice. You're right. I apologize. But I don't want you stepping on our creative decisions. Okay? Have a seat, gentlemen. So, we've planned this great campaign for you, with some imagery that can be deployed in print, on billboards, on television, and on Facebook. Um, hi, Mark Zuckerberg. What are you doing here? Just chillin'. Okay, why are you here? Well, I heard you guys were gonna use Facebook, so I figured, you know, I could just, like, swing by, hang out. It's all good, man. Oh, uh, well, actually, this is a business meeting, and it's supposed to be private. What, you got something to hide? D no, not not really. We just appreciate a little, uh... This is just between us and our clients. Nah, don't worry, man. It's cool, it's cool. I mean, everybody has business meetings. Nothing to be ashamed of. Right. Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay. Gentlemen, you wanted to both sell to and objectify women at the same time. So... We have for you a campaign that, to the Y chromosome, seems like a teenage fantasy, but to the X chromosome, empowers and emboldens. Allow us to introduce you to Miller Lite. Kick some ass! We went with the warrior princess theme as a way to subvert the conventional barely dressed woman thing, and in turn use it not for sexualization, but for female empowerment. But you need to, to, uh, to think about that a bit to really realize what it means. Because on the surface, your typical male base sees another hot girl, but from a female perspective, it's, uh... It's all like, you go girl, and stuff like that. Oh yeah! Exactly. So, what do you think? Crap. Terrible. Unusable! What? Uh, okay, what are the, uh, um, issues we need to work on? It's not nearly misogynistic enough. In fact, I'd say it's not actually misogynistic at all! Well, well, on one level, it is, because, I mean, we're not even showing her face, right? And the word ass is in the slogan, and we're focusing right on that. And so it's definitely, absolutely, somewhat degrading. Like she has clothing on. Uh, but we, uh, it's not really legal in this country to show a, a completely naked woman. Legal? We're a gigantic multinational corporation. You think we care what's legal? Fix this! Fix this right now! Boop!
You want us to just cut the whole thing? That's three days of work down the drain. Focus group didn't like it. Do it over. That focus group was full of 12-year-olds. Don't disparage the maturity of our demographic, Dick Flop. Customers are always right. No, it was literally full of 12-year-olds. You gave it to the wrong focus group. Remember, people, by the numbers! Everything by the numbers! Are you working? I'm waiting on Andrew. He hasn't told me what we're doing yet. So, you're not working? You're not busy? You're just sitting around and doing nothing? I guess you could say that, yeah. Well, I'm not paying you to sit around and do nothing. You know who pays people to sit around and do nothing? The federal government. I worked for the U.S. Census Bureau from 1991 to 1999, and there wasn't a single day when they made us do anything. Well, I left there and said, no more! My employees won't get paid to sit around and do nothing like a bunch of government workers. I'm gonna make them do things! So, what should I do? Things! Hey, Andy, you got any things for me to do? Things, uh... Yeah, actually, uh, now that I think about it, you could, uh, sit down, shut the fuck up, and buy me a new iPad. And you're paying. Christ oh fucking mighty. Listerine fights plaque and has the power to rid your mouth of biofilm. Biofilm is a fancy new word we found one day. It basically means plaque. Listerine, we have a thesaurus. I'm at a loss. What do we do now? Maybe if we just, like, make it about her boobs instead, because, you know, guys have asses too, but they don't have boobs. Boobs are more, like, exclusively womanish. You get me? I don't really... Oh, yeah, 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 you're right, because, like, some guys, if they're, like, really fat and stuff, they have man boobs, so... I guess chicks don't really have a manipulate on that either. What?! Maybe we just need to give them what they want to see. Janet, we did what they asked for. They didn't like it. Right, so don't give them what they asked for. Give them what they want. Take a look. Uh... Well... It's definitely more misogynistic. But I'm kind of missing the part where it appeals to women. Well, clearly they have no idea what appeals to women. So we can just tell them that this does, and they'll believe us. But it doesn't. That would be lying. Yeah, I know. But look, the purpose of this little exercise is to not be a dick to the client. That's it. We don't have to act in their best interest, we just have to be nice. That's not really what I was going for, though. Okay, look, there will be many, many opportunities in the future to advance the craft of advertising, but this is not one of them. We can't win this battle, so let's just make the client happy and get them out the door so we can all move on to better things. I'm not so sure I'm comfortable saying all this. I know. We don't like it any more than you do. Trust me, this is just a paycheck for me too. As soon as we're done here, I'm going straight to my priest. Okay, this is Miller Lite, take one! Action! Listen, woman, I don't want to hear your whining or your excuses. I don't want you to tell me about your feelings, because the only feeling you should be having is this long, hard thing pouring delicious liquid in your face. How many of you women does it take to screw in a light bulb? None. You can cook my steak in the dark. Miller Lite. Drink it, bitch. You see? It speaks directly to women. Amazing! Amazing. It's, it's genius! The female, female demographic, demographic will eat this up! up. Wait, what, what did the focus, focus group think? think? So, what do you guys think? Duh, there's too much motion blur! They loved it! Then and so, so do, do we. we. My ad campaign is better than your ad campaign. You haven't even seen mine. I don't have to. Could you not invade my personal space in the men's room? The boss is gonna see for sure that you know nothing about advertising. Why do you have to be such a massive dick? all the time. To be ironic? Because it gets results. You know what they say, Edward. Nice guys finish last. Yeah, that's why I can please a woman better than you can.
What? Mark Zuckerberg? What the hell are you doing? Hey, man, what's up? G- get out of here! What, you got something to hide? I'm using the toilet! No, don't worry, man. It's cool, it's cool. I mean, everybody takes a shit. Nothing to be ashamed of. Wait, get, get, get out! Whoa, 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 hold that pose. I like this. There's a war coming down between my brothers and I. I don't want no war going down. Honestly, I don't get that drunk. Alcohol just literally goes right through me. So, how did it all go with Miss Robo Zombie Accountant Lady? Not bad, actually. Yeah, she pretty much came up with the whole idea herself. <laughs> Great. No, it was actually, uh... Well, it was horribly offensive, and I'm ashamed to have been associated with it. But from a creative standpoint, it was pretty well thought out. <laughs> yeah, right. From a fucking accountant. Don't let it fool you. They're all just like Andrew. I thought so, too. But maybe not. No. No way. Anybody who takes her from Andy's got nothing inside of No fucking soul, no nothing at all. Well, you were working under him. I didn't do shit for him. Anything he said to me, I was just like, fuck you, no. Well, that's mature. What do you mean, that's mature? This is Andy we're talking about. It's the only way to deal with him. Or perhaps it's the only way you try. Tommy? Dude, what's up? The thumbtack is still your brother, but he has forgotten that. He wishes to fight you, but you must remind him that you are all the same blood. You are all human beings, and therefore, you are all fighting for the same thing. Tommy, this is Eddie. The boss brought him in to replace you. Well, not that anyone could replace you. Well met, Brother Eddie. I sense your strength, your resolve, and your compassion. These are powerful qualities. Your brothers and sister are lucky to have you. Thank you, sir. The Thumbtack shall resent you and sabotage you, but do not fight him, brother. Show him the way. I've been trying, Tommy. I've been trying for so long. I don't think it's possible. You must take another path, brother Kevin. Perhaps brother Eddie will show you the way as well. Oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. I'm sorry for being, uh, not so nice to you for the past week. Don't worry about it. I'm really embarrassed. It's okay, don't worry. No, look, I just... I wasn't myself. I don't do that. I don't act like that most of the time. Well, I kind of walked in on you while you were bleeding to death, honey. Don't sweat it, we all have our bad days. Weeks. Weeks. So, what was it that made you want to, uh, switch sides? You know that guy in our ad? Well, let's just say he was inspired by a real person. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. (laughs) So, would you maybe want to, uh... Play on our team a bit more? It was fun, but I gotta stick by my compatriots. I'm sort of the, uh, one-girl support group for everyone, if that makes sense. I know exactly what you mean. Okay, team! The results are in! Team Edwin made us... $900,137! And Team Andrew made us... $900,137! It's a tie! Congratulations! Everybody wins! Wait! What about how satisfied the clients were? What about, what about what now? The clients. Were they satisfied? Do they hate us? Are they gonna tell everybody that we suck and not to do business with us? Huh. I... didn't ask. Boss, that was the entire reason we were doing all of this. Oh. Well... Fuck. Who wants lunch? 
Hey, thanks for watching. We need your support to keep making more episodes of Your Face is a Saxophone and to keep them free of charge and free of ads. All of these people who you see in the credits gave a little bit of their time or their money to make this episode possible, and you can be one of them too. You can help us prove that great TV shows don't need to shove commercials in your face to cover their costs. We don't want to make a show to please corporate sponsors. We want to make it for our fans, you guys. So go to yfis.com slash donate to become a producer of the show or slash volunteer to see how else you can help. And follow us on Twitter at Plankhead or go to yfis.com and click get email updates to keep track of the show and see what's going on with it. So thanks again. I'm Zachary Adam Green, the creator of Your Face is a Saxophone, and you're awesome.